Wow, are you stop? Wait a no, are you stop? So we just sent our room confirmation number to that number and let them know what parking spot we're in and hopefully someone will be out here shortly to us and I'll let you know how it goes. So we texted them our confirmation number and they sent this out to us and we're just gonna get our photo ID ready and we should be getting our welcome package soon. So yay! Someone, oh yay! So we have someone coming now to get us ready. I think she's coming to us. Hi, we're doing good. Alrighty, so let's do this walk there together. This is the washroom. Um, it's pretty lovely, pretty standard. Um, this is just what you get. Blue dryer, towels, um, toilet paper. So like very little we'll sink. Um, conditioner, hair, body shampoo. So. Um, and this is the Bayshore room. Um, yeah, so put your luggage there and we just got two beds. sucker for views so I feel like this view makes it worth it for me and these cute chairs if it was more in the summertime I feel like it would just be so lovely um but yeah that kind of is it let's go through the the package you get your package and your Hearst Resort your room number cuisine menu curbside pickups this is just our breakfast this is just our breakfast voucher so we have this other welcome package here armbands winter recreation map and then that's that this concludes the room Hi everyone, my name is Rika and thank you so much for stopping by my channel again. So um, I would have shown you in the previous clips just us getting to Deerhurst and just kind of getting settled in as well as um, giving you a room tour. It's the end of the night, it's not like we really have anywhere to go so I just kind of kind of poured me one up and I've been kind of just sipping on that for a little bit. Um, and that has kind of been the party that we have been having. A lot of things have been cancelled here and a lot of activities just are not available. So we wanted to go ice skating and skiing. The, those activities were cancelled for today when I spoke to the representative. But she said we might be able to do them tomorrow. So we are looking forward to going skiing tomorrow. We are just um, seeing the things that are available. We do have breakfast vouchers. So I will be showing you what is offered in their breakfast voucher. I'm pretty okay with the room. But uh, this is going to be it for tonight. And then tomorrow, you know, when the sun rises and it gets pretty outside, I'll definitely be showing you and um, be 
you'll be seeing what we get up to tomorrow and just the different options yeah but thank you so much for watching and if you want to see the rest of my stay feel free to continue watching don't forget to like this video share comment subscribe and let me know what you think about this review down in the comments below fill your own omelet i think i'm probably just gonna go with the omelet Alright, so we're gonna call for breakfast now and we're just gonna see what is available. As I said, I booked a room that included breakfast and I really only see two options that you know I would even want. So let's see what happens when we call them. Good morning, thank you for calling Deerhurst Resort in our dining room. Yep. So your bed and breakfast, uh, the voucher includes you get coffee or tea, mm -hmm. plus an orange juice, and then you can choose uh, one of the breakfast items. So you do like one of the breakfast. Sandwich like the western or the bagel, you can do the omelet, anything like that. Oh, okay. So, so it's uh, any one of those, you can do pancakes as well. So, pretty much covers all of the, the entree items under the breakfast stuff. Thank you. Oh, I'll get it. You do get um coffee sugar cream. I got tea because I'm not like a coffee drinker, so this is what the breakfast is looking like. It's the omelet. I hope they gave me ketchup. And you have toasted bread here. Oh, they did give ketchup. Indeed. So everything is just wrapped and you're not gonna have Like I expected real plates and stuff like that. We get like peanut butter, jam for the bread, and as I said, the ketchup, we also get blueberry jam. Yeah, so I think earlier in the video I had mentioned that, you know, the breakfast was a little disappointing and, you know, it wasn't a lot of options, but it is definitely a lot of food. Um, I'm not disappointed the breakfast was pretty good um i just wish these were real cups but then again with covid like why would they do that i wasn't thinking but yeah this was really delicious i um this is probably going to be like breakfast and lunch for me i don't even think that i'm going to get anything for lunch um but so far so good all right so it is sunday and we are about to be up and about we've had breakfast and we're going to go ahead and try to attempt to do some of the outdoor activities available i can't skate at all i have no balance so it'll be a little comical i hope or you know cringe but either way i'm sure it'll be an adventure we left this inside the car last night and <laughs> it's it's frozen this is you know, my hands are so dry oh gosh but it's frozen this is this is canada <laughs> So we actually came to this ski hill last year and it was super super busy like there was almost no parking and crazy to see how um you know because of what's happening right now it's em i'm gonna show you guys it's empty into that building to get our ski supplies and those all were functional and you know we would go down the ski hill but now it's just it's just there There's All right, this Loki looks lame, but I promise you it's fun. <laughs> <laughs>
This is the chair. This is basically this is the chair. You sit on the chair. Has like the ski things at the bottom. You have your feet up here, and then you can push and go down here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh, you stop. Wait, no, oh, you stop. So, after you're all set with them, you just leave them here. And yeah, that was super fun. Nice little trail there. Amaze. So, we are here at Chuck's Roadhouse Bar and Grill, and we're just gonna get something to eat real quick. Um, we decided not to have dinner at the hotel, you know, because we had breakfast there, so we just kind of wanted that type of variety. So, um, let's see how the food is and what it's like there. Cream, but um, I saw this and I've never had this one before. I had the salted caramel earlier in this season and that was so yummy. I drank the whole bottle in like a weekend. So I don't think I'll be drinking this whole bottle tonight, but maybe half if it's really, really good. So I'm excited about that. And I can't open how this bag is right now. So I'm just gonna like rip it open. And you see on top here, the butter sauce. This is for the lobster. I got, um, I think it's usually called surf and turf where you have lobster and steak so this is the chicken quesadillas let me open it up i can't open this up so you see it. it smells really really yummy i can't wait to have that and the next thing oh gosh it smells so good the next thing is steak and lobster so we chose a side and we i chose um fries and then they grill a piece of corn and that's that so this looks yummy and i'm just gonna go ahead and dig in and let you know um what i thought about it all right so i just finished eating the food it was really good i definitely would recommend chucks um i think that it's really delicious and it's fairly close to the resort so i definitely enjoy it all right so it is the second morning and the morning of our checkout and we decided to order different kinds of breakfast this time to just kind of help to show you guys right plus we also wanted variety of what we we're eating so yesterday we had coffee and i tried their red rose tea i'm not even sure what type of tea it was i didn't like it so i didn't drink it so today we had we're gonna be having mint tea And yeah, I ordered pancakes, so this looks yummy. I'm gonna put my syrup on it soon. There's powdered sugar, and I ordered it with sides of bacon. It's a little brown, but I like my pancakes browner, so that's fine. And also, there is a bagel sandwich, so this looks pretty good as well. And you just have the potatoes at the side, so this. Both of these look like really good options. I am very pleased with their breakfast menu. I feel like it's good. Oh, and they gave me fruits to go with my pancake. I expected berries and not this type of fruit, but that's also fine for me. There's something else in here. Can come out this one? Oh, there is fruit. Um, there's syrup and stuff to go on my so I have these syrups and they did actually give me an additional plate to put my pancake on and here's some butter wow it's like a lot of stuff so I have this it's like a berry thing and my syrup and I have some fresh fruit here so that's kind of nice I know they gave us like ketchup for the potato no cap and yeah I'll just like pour this over it and the syrup. So this is gonna be breakfast. I doubt I'll eat all of this as well, just like yesterday because it's a lot of food. But yeah, this is breakfast. Oh, well, 
lake is melting a little bit. Um, we weren't able to ice skate yesterday because the lake wasn't frozen enough, as she mentioned. So I don't know when people will be able to ice skate. Um, but this is the view from our room. Hi, hi everyone. So I'm back with my little reindeer outfit. It's probably the last one I'm gonna wear for the season. So I'm trying to just enjoy it. Anyhow, I just wanted to come and kind of give my final thoughts and you know, just some of the things that happened. So um, our first day we really just kind of came in and you know, slept really like there wasn't anything that was happening. On the second day we went out and we did some activities. Skiing was an option um here is really lovely like there's a lot of room for skiing and stuff we didn't even walk the entire trail just because it was just so cold like our feet were hurting because it's just that cold and our, our fingers the tips of our feet like we really couldn't feel our fingers even though we we're in gloves and proper winter boots so it was cool so we didn't do the entire trail like when you're skiing if you've ever been skiing like you really have to dress appropriately and even sometimes when you are dressed appropriately it's still really really cold so um that was not available and we were just kind of over it so we didn't even go and do that and we didn't do any ice skating because the ice isn't hard enough to accommodate ice skating um, we have done both of those activities before, but we're not, well, I know I'm not versed in it. It's not like I'm a professional or I even look sensible while doing it. Like, I still struggle. So we end up doing the whole, um, I don't know, like the foot trotting, snow snowshoeing thing, where you just basically have on something that I guess is loose and you walk. It, it, it didn't really make that much sense to me. Like, I, I've just never tried it, so I did. And then we did, um, I guess it's like a seat sleigh, and you push the person on it. That was kind of fun, um, so that was nice. We didn't use our wristbands. In your package, your welcome package, you do get two wristbands, and we didn't we didn't use them because you're in so much clothes during the winter. I don't think the, um, the people who work here are really that concerned with seeing them, and because it's not even really busy, so I highly doubt anybody who is not even a guest here will care to do this so um we didn't no one asked us for these the breakfast was good i feel like my pancakes were a little too well done this morning so i didn't necessarily enjoy it. one of them was just way too crispy for me like i couldn't it was it was burnt so i didn't even have that one but um the bagel was good the omelette from yesterday was good like the food that i've had here so far that was good. i didn't have dinner here i had dinner at chuck's and that was also um really really good so I enjoyed that. Um, in the town, there are things you have like Starbucks, McDonald's, um, LCBO, Shopper. So if you're here and you need to grab and get anything, it's pretty accessible. I did only see two deers while I was here. It was the first night that we came. Yeah, they do have a pretty good menu. I feel like the food is fairly, I mean, it's it's priced as, as what I would expect it to be priced at. It was, it was pretty good. The winter recreational map, they have all sorts of goodies here and this is the building we are in um and they have their little covid pamphlet uh, we paid 600 dollars for two nights and that's included breakfast um i do feel like this building could use a bit of renovation to just make it look a little bit more modern they have a newer building that's right next to it should we come back i feel like we're gonna stay in the more modern building um i feel like the hotel is probably in you know near niagara or in the city are just a little bit more you know renovated there's a lot more competition there here it's kind of like a cottage relax stage away from the city type of relaxed vibe so realistically like i don't feel like there's that much competition but the room isn't bad like it's it's not really not bad like i don't necessarily mind it it's fine for me but i just like to explore my options um yeah i feel like that's kind of all that there is they have um contact free checkout as far as the email that i got said i can just text them and let them know that i'm out of here and that's it checkout is at 11 and it's currently it's currently like basically quarter two or it's a 10 47 so i'm going to leave and check out real quick and that should be it. the mini fridge also i was not impressed by it there was nothing in the mini fridge when we got here i'm not surprised but like this up here that that I, I didn't like that like I didn't like that and I didn't like that there and I did think the bathroom was lovely so that's fine it's small but like it's okay everything else was good for my customer service was pretty good um everybody that I interacted with was fairly nice so yeah I would definitely recommend and um I do plan to come back hopefully I'm able to come back in the summer to just see what the activities are or maybe another hotel nearby that's kind of the same vibe just to you know get the variety and um you know for winter 
we there is a ski hill that i did show at some other point in the video and when we went there just to ski it was like 200 and something dollars i don't remember the exact price but that was for like the skiing equipment and you know to use whatever and nothing else was included if you come here if if you're gonna pay $200 just for to rent ski equipment, you pay $300 to get breakfast and you can get all the skiing, ice skating, and all types of stuff included and you have a room. So it really works out cheaper if you, you know, just come to a, a resort that includes all of that. Um, but yeah, I feel like this was a really nice little getaway and, um, you know, just something to do before back to work. So um, I just wanted to quickly jump on and mention the options to check out where you can send an email you can call the front desk or what's the other one <laughs> or you can text yeah so that was those are the options so it's like a contact free checkout which is amazing so you don't have to waste time going up to the front desk and yeah thanks, thanks again for watching it's snowing i don't know if you can tell and super duper cool so i'll see you in my next video.